Hi everyone, episode 188 of The Adelaide Show comes out tonight and it's quite an auspicious episode. We have Robin Patanen here from the, uh, the Academy of, of Inter Inter Interactive Entertainment. Interactive Entertainment. I think I said integrated a few times too. No, I'm Inter sure you said interactive. Interactive Entertainment, which is where you go here in South Australia, but also around Australia, yes. to learn how to get a job in the game, game making. Yeah. yeah, how to make games. Which has been happening here for how long? Well, it's already been a thriving industry. For at least 20 years. Wow. So, Robin is the bee's knees. She takes us into games in a fantastic way. This house was what, home to who? The Surgeon General of South Australia in the 1890s. Wow. Wow. So, lots of things would have happened here. This was the cellar. So maybe some scary stuff, but yes, this was the cellar. Yes. And that, look at there, what Nigel's playing with. Look at the thickness of this door. Good six inch door. Six inch door. That's solid solid cast stuff. steel. Iron. I think it's iron. Iron, yeah, not good anyway. Okay. Yeah. Um, it makes me want to make up a game, a computer game based on these premises. Well, every computer game starts with a prototype. We might as well do it tonight. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, so I'll follow your lead. What's... So we're in a cellar. Yes. We've been drinking some wine. Yes. Okay, so instead of spin the bottle, let's play find the bottle. We could play spin the bottle. No. No? no. Okay, okay. No, it's not that kind of game. Find the bottle. Find... Okay. Do you have a bottle? I mean, this is a cellar. I do, you... do. I have a bottle of sticky here. Okay. Oh, we could call the game Sticky Situations. Sticky Situations is fantastic. I think I've found my calling. He's a game developer already. <laughs> right. So what? what Nigel we... can program it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do with this? How? What sort of things go through your mind? Okay. So you're not the player, right? Yet you don't see me doing this. But as a game designer, I'm going to be hiding the collectible bottles ah. that you, as the player, need to find. Okay. So we're, you're going to stick one in there, right? Yes, I, can... yes, I believe so. Because we need to put them in hard to find places and also places that are exciting. Yes. Um, and a little bit dangerous. Okay. And that is a really small cellar in there. Uh, claustrophobic style craziness, actually. Yeah. So all we've right. hidden a few bottles elsewhere. All around? Yes, already. So is this like a point of view game or how does this it work? It is and I think we need to play test it now. Okay. Alright, so what we need to do is prototype what it's like for the player to go into this particular area yep. um, and what happens to the player okay. after that. Okay. Who's going to do that? Should we put it? I think maybe you should be the player because you are um, the type of player who might enjoy this. You're a bit of a you know strategy kind of person. All right. Yeah. So whereas, whereas the rest of us may be a bit more survivalist players. So how do you move me? All oh, right. Okay. How do we move you? Well, first we need to entice you into okay. the zone and encourage you to explore it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you do that? You start with, you start with the door closed, wouldn't you? It's like, hey, what's that strange door? Underneath the staircase. Right. Yes. Could and that so, be a possible place that you could search for something? And is it like Minecraft or have I got 3D ability to move in your... Well, what would you like it to be? Because that was a very interesting rendition of my, uh, Minecraft <laughs> that I've never seen before. <laughs> I've, I've heard about it, I've never played it, but I wanted to sound hip. Um, is it... how, how about you pretend you're in an open world, <laughs> sort of, you know, like, like reality, free out, All free, right, yeah. freely moving space, okay. you're allowed to walk normally. Okay, so I'm in here and I've gone beep, 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 don't know what the beeps are, beep, 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 and I go like this, Yeah. and then I see a handle, Yes. And then finally the console catches up so I can get my hand to the, to the, to the and I pull it open and then You'd I suppose go I'd go in, in, wouldn't I? You'd have to look in to see. This is really small in here. Well, we have to test to see if the oh. player character can get in there. I'm, can you, oh. you don't want to glitch where the character actually gets in there and then can't like get out again. Because that no. just yeah. wouldn't so, be good. So at... just let's keep testing that. Okay. Okay, make sure you can move around and look. 
Okay, let's get that done. Give him some sort of a light before we go turn off the lights upstairs that I didn't mention before. Oh, that's right, because we now turn this into a survivalist game. Yeah, this is a survival game, yeah. So there's Steve's only light, and now we're going to turn off the lights, which we didn't actually tell him about. That's all right, we have to just keep them on. Oh, there we go. Hello? Come on, it's not funny now. It's not funny. 